In this video we're going to look at the relationship between image size and file size. These are two terms that get interchanged quite a bit but they mean totally different things. So let's look at this and hopefully understand the difference between those. In this first folder you're going to see that we have four images. Three that are uh, subject on green screen and the fourth image is just a, a white file. What we want to look at is this bottom portion of our screen and in here you'll see the two lines that we're going to specifically look at is this one labeled dimensions and the one labeled sizes right below that. What are those numbers? What do they mean? Well, dimensions is talking about the pixel dimensions in the image. So in this image we have 3456 pixels by 5184 pixels. That's the physical number of pixels our camera captured. The line below that, size, refers to the size of the file. That's the container that's holding those pixels. So let's look at these four images and look at those dimensions and size and look at the relationship. So on our second image, we see our pixel dimensions are exactly the same, but our size has gotten smaller. It's down to 6.56 from the 7.14. Go to our third image. Pixel dimensions are still the same, and our size is down to 6.92 megabytes. So we see we have three different file sizes on those images, from a large file size of 7.14, to a small file size of 6.56. What's going on here? Why are those different? Well, to help explain that, we have to understand that these are JPEG images, and JPEG images are compressed files, which means they're scrunched up. And the math to scrunch that file up so we don't lose quality looks at a lot of different things, and one of those is how, how similar the pixels are in the image, and can I say, hey, pixel 1 is equal to pixel 2 is equal to pixel 3, so I only have to store one data point of information. So these all have slightly different amounts of compression on them based on the subject information in the image. To oversimplify that, let's look at this white JPEG. So let's start by looking at this image right here. We see our pixel dimensions 3456 by 5184. The M file size is 6.92 megabytes. When we jump over to the white image, same exact pixel dimensions, but our size has gone down dramatically. It's down to 1.14 megabytes. And the reason the file size is so small on that is it's very easy for a JPEG to just to contain white pixel information and compress that way down. Let's look at a different folder of images and look at file types. These two images are exactly the same as far as the pixel information that's captured. However, the first image is saved as a JPEG and we can see our pixel dimensions and our file size. Again, remember the JPEG is compressed. And on the second image, we see that has been saved as a TIFF file, which is a non-compressed image type and our file size is significantly larger. It's 51.2 megabytes. Compare that to the earlier one of 7.14. So we see file sizes can vary dramatically based on the type of file that it is as well as how much data is in the file. In our next example of images Let's look at the same image. This was shot green screen and then it was knocked out and placed on a variety of backgrounds. So again, we're starting with that same sample image that we've been looking at. Pixel dimensions 3456 by 5184. Our file size is 7.14 meg. That's what was captured. Now let's go through and look at these different images. So the first one on a kind of a yellow green background, we jump from 7.14 to 7.64. The file is a little bit larger and it's just because we added that background into it. We go to this pink one, goes up even larger. Go to this orange one, look at how much more information that file takes. It's up to 9 meg 
and it's just due to the complexity of the background. This background here doesn't take up as much room, 7.53, and when we go to that high key background, which was just plain white, we see we dropped down significantly, down to 4.61 megabytes. So our file size not only can vary based on the type of file that we save, whether it's a JPEG or a TIFF, here we see that the complexity of the file, how much detail is in the background, can also change that file size. Okay, let's look at the JPEG and TIFF file and open those both up into Photoshop. And under the TIFF file, we'll go under Image, Image Size. We see our same numbers, 51.3, 3456 by 5184. And let's look at the JPEG now, and everything is going to be still exactly the same. We'll go back to the TIFF one more time. And what I want you to notice is this pixel dimension right here on the TIFF. Remember we said TIFF files are not compressed. Here's our TIFF file and our file size. We'll move that down. We can see is very, very similar. It's 51.28, which rounded up is equal to 51.3. So our file size and our image size are the same for a TIFF file just because it's not compressed. Now let's compare that to the JPEG. There's our image size. 51.3 and there's our file size 7.14 so that compression makes the file size significantly smaller than our image size. Now there's a lot more that comes into play when we're talking about file size image size that can that can happen as we start using our crop tool and we'll talk about that in another video just be aware that how you crop your image can also affect your image size and file size. Okay, let's look at one more factor that can influence file size and that is the amount of compression done to our image. So we'll start with this far image on the right which is the one we've been using as our baseline and see that our size here is 7.14 megabytes. The second image was saved as a level 10 JPEG and we can see that the file size goes down to 2.59 megabytes. So we went from a 7.14 to 2.59, just compressed or scrunched the file down a little smaller. Save that as a level 8 JPEG and it has gone from 2.59 to 1.23 file size and then saved as a level 6 JPEG which is even more compression, takes it out down under 1 megabyte. So notice on all four of those images, the pixel dimensions are exactly the same, but our file sizes are changing. Can that affect our quality? Certainly, the more that we compress an image, the more artifacts that may show up in it. Now, depending on what your final output is, can determine if that's a good thing or a bad thing. If I was trying to take an image to a large 30 by 40 wall portrait, the more compression I add to it, the more that those artifacts will show up in the final print. However, if all I'm printing is an 8x10 or 4x5, the more compression I do um, is not going to be as noticeable. It's not going to show up as much. Okay, now let's understand how all this works in Photoshop. So let's look at this folder of images inside of Adobe Bridge. In Bridge, the first thing that I'm going to do is go to my Edit and Preferences. And on the Thumbnail tab, I want to show Dimensions. You can see from the drop down we see that one. And then we show Size. So I'm just going to say OK. And I'm going to just change this view so we can see a little bit more images at the same time. And we'll see, we see the pixel dimensions just like we saw in Windows Explorer. And then down below, we see the file size. So we can see those examples that we saw earlier. Um, the differences between the image size, which is exactly the same on all of these files, and the file size down below. Let's look at these in, or look at one of these in Photoshop. 
So we'll open up this image over here. And when we're in Photoshop, come under Image and Image Size. Now the numbers that we're concerned about the most is this top section called Pixel Dimension. Here we see the physical number of pixels, which is the number we've been seeing for our dimensions earlier, and we see the pixel dimensions in a megabyte number. This megabyte number is our image size, and that's the number that we're most concerned about. In this case, you'll see our megabyte number is 51.3 megabytes. That gives us a very large image size that we can make a lot of different large prints from and not have any issues. Let's close that out and look at another image. We'll just jump back to Bridge. And we'll go into a different folder. Remember we had our compression folder. We see all the different file sizes there. They're compressed from 805 kilobytes, which is less than one megabyte, up to um, 5.23 megabytes in this example, or you know all the different numbers for compression. I'm going to open up two of these images. Here's the one that was compressed at 800 mega, or kilobytes. We'll look at image, image size, and see it's still 51.3 megabytes. Still very large to print from. Let's go into a second image here and look at its image size. Again, we're seeing that same number. Everything's looking very similar. Starting to see a pattern here. 